Welcome to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Empower Your Pattern with James Hendrick. Adversity educator, success, confidence, and thrive coach, member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We will he'll teach you that there are patterns of success that are ready for anyone to achieve. So if you come, we will join together. Let's fly. Normally, I would be given my customary yee-haw, but this is kind of a serious topic. <coughs> We're going to try to do a lighter side of this and talk about this. This is one of those, when we haven't had one of these in a while, <coughs> this is one of those let's meet in the study. A moment. I'm recording this at night tonight. We'll be releasing it um, early uh, tomorrow morning, the morning of the 8th. And I have to share with some of my heart battling depression. On the 3rd, after I had finished my CAP Method uh, self coaching session in the, the last podcast, of course. These episodes until about the 12th are a break from the, the <coughs> Pattern Enterprise series. Forgive me, I'm <laughs> acid reflux and asthma, double whammy. Okay, so we're talking about fighting depression. And to, to be honest with you, I have felt that depression. It has been absolutely crazy. <laughs> you know, I came into 2024 thinking, well, this can this can be a good year. <laughs> and January was a month of crises. <laughs> I'm talking about boom, boom, boom. So now, with that... We're going to try to attack this um, in the eyes of Scripture, okay? Because dealing with depression is something that needs to be conquered. Okay? Here's a verse, um, Matthew 11. 28 through 30. This is, this is it. It says, I'm doing this in the King James. Come all, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall refine rest into your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Now, I'll tell you what I think it means to me. And that's just one thing. This one thing is this. (laughs) 
It means taking upon myself the name of Christ. Look, he knows. It's a lot of wonderful things. <clears throat> I think in the Old Testament, there's two psalms I think you should read that will help you with your depression. Psalm 34. Psalm 34 is one way in which you can get through your depression and what's bothering you. In First Peter chapter 5 verse 7 casting all your cares upon him for he careth for you. Now here's some of the buggards that I think the thought patterns that I have learned can cause depression and cause it to sink in like a cancer if we're not careful. Here's the first one. The first one is called Is Reality. You probably heard maybe in music or in pop culture someone says that's what the way it is. And it's kind of a dark downcast deal. <laughs> I've seen it in my coming of age in the 80s and the 90s. Just real depressive. And while I can understand that, what I learned, this, this concept of is reality is something I learned from a, little, a seminar a uh, a three day seminar called the Landmark Forum. Let me tell you something that's going to liberate you to some degree from that depression. I'm not going to say it's going to lift it totally, folks. There is no is in reality. That's just the way it is. If you're in depression, that's just the way. Of, of a cop out to help you stay in that depression. How do I know? I've been there. I suffer from bipolar disorder. Okay. Earlier today, I just came back from a Toastmasters meeting. And I, I mean, I delivered with a powerful speech. I loved everything that I did. But when I came home, okay, and this is where the bipolar came in. I was home maybe about 30 minutes. And it's like full descent into like a mental hell. Because of one of my birth defects, which affects the brain, and kind of a hormonal imbalance, if you will, I started having hallucinations leading to depressive psychosis. Now, some people think, well, that, that, means, well, that means you're irritable. No. Because there's there's irritability that's caused by psychosis, that's caused by conditioning. Or in my case, it's purely old stupidity and temper. 
because I know I know about my symptoms. It, I could I could yammer on and on and on about that, but we need to figure out how to fight depression, not stay in depression, right? <laughs> okay, so let's keep it going. Another concept, and this is something that I have created myself. Rats in maze thinking. There is an old kind of a garage uh, metal type song that came out like in the early 2000s. And the song was called Rats in a Maze. And it seemed like, you know, the, 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 the thing was the rats were caught in that maze. Now, there is such a thing as rats caught in a maze because, well, they enjoy it. The owners of the maze, you know, they drop cheese and stuff like that. But in this, my illustration, no. They're trapped with, within these certain grooves and stuff. And, and and depression creates that. What I mean by rats in maze thinking, I'm talking about the negative thinking saying, you know, hey. Well, let me give an example from a, those of you who have been listening to me for a while. You know I do a self-coaching method called a creative rotomy. Okay. Now, I'll try to keep this brief, but I'm going to see if I can find the, uh, the entrap that deals with that, and also I don't want to get this crazy thing to cooperate. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. No, that's not the correct guy. <laughs> that's not the correct one. Here's the one for today. Okay, good. I was like, what? Well, I know. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can find one off the bat. Okay, yeah, this is uh, Rats and Maze thinking here. Can't seem to get anything done. Everything's so disorganized. Ever since COVID... My life is grim. <laughs> That's less amazing thinking. I also think it's a form of overgeneralization. And the gospel response to that, it's easy. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay. And what you can do to get rid of get rid of rats and maze thinking you gotta challenge that but it's kind of like I only just tell myself you know what it's it's not it's not the end of the world because rats and maze thinking of oh, this ain't good. This is this is the end of the world. And look, I know it feels like that. I know it does. But you know something? There is another side to rats and maze thinking.
really sometimes with fighting depression sometimes you have to uh You have to get blunt. And and how you fight depression is based on three sa- these three factors. What I call the cap method. Choose what are your choices and intentions for that day. Act. What is your plan of action? Okay, now granted, I didn't follow my plan of action. But then pursuit of happiness, it's usually like a quote or something from scripture, if you know what I mean. Because you're, you're <laughs> technology is not cooperative. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, become a part of Paddling Realm. Until next time, choose act and pursue happiness. God bless you. Remember this from the bottom of my heart Jimmy loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless each and every one of you, and have a blessed day.